A bomb named GPT-5 could now drop on your head at any time. Sam's been hyping it up like crazy. He recently tweeted a sneak peek of GPT-5 that doesn't include the word Prime, as we've been noticing in the leaked screenshots. And there are gazillions of other rumors floating around the internet. And since none of it is verifiable, I'm going to form a guess about whether it's a novel architecture incorporating new research or simply a scaled up version of the existing transformer architecture. In a Theo Vaughn podcast, Sam Altman compares working on AI to the Manhattan Project. He's talking about a non-human scale of power, building this insane, world-ending hype. But when it was time to actually deliver the nuke, bro disappoints us. So while Sam is calling anything he sees now AGI, the CEO of Anthropic has a different opinion. You'll hear leaders of companies say we've achieved AGI and we're moving on to super intelligence. So I think these terms are totally meaningless. It sounds like a marketing term. The foundational architecture of GPT-5 is still the decoder-only transformer. However, tweets from Sam Altman and OpenAI's research team indicate it won't be a monolithic, dense model. The merge they've described points to a heterogeneous system design, likely an evolution of the multimodality we saw in GPT-4.0. This implies a high-level routing mechanism or gating network. This router would perform task decomposition on a user's prompt, routing each subtask to the optimal specialist model or tool. CEOs will call everything revolutionary, but the reality is different when you talk to the actual scientists. Jan LeCun, Meta's chief AI scientist, is a vocal critic of the scaling hypothesis. He argues that current LM architectures lack a world model and are therefore fundamentally incapable of true reasoning. A world model is an internal simulation of reality that an AI builds to understand physics and causality. And Meta's first real attempt at this is VJEPA. VJEPA is a non-generative, self-supervised model. It learns by watching millions of hours of video, but it doesn't try to predict every single missing pixel. Instead, it masks out large chunks of the video and learns to predict the missing information in a high-level abstract representation space. This is a much more efficient way to learn. It forces the AI to focus on the underlying concepts of what's happening in the scene the common sense, instead of wasting energy on irrelevant details like the movement of individual leaves on a tree. Upgrading the existing transformer architecture will soon hit its limit, and a world model is what looks like the next step.